Hey everyone, this is Nikki with your Midday Connection. I have snuck away to my room just to get away from everyone and share a little bit with you. Um, I had the opportunity this week to just talk to a couple of friends and they, we were just sharing you know, about life and what's going on and concerns and needs and as always we'll be praying for each other and one of them said, how about you? And I said, you know, in all honesty, I feel like everything's okay and God has just been preparing me for this for a while now um, and especially these last couple years I'm just trusting and relying in on him and um, as you guys know it hasn't been an easy couple years but um, I have seen God's sovereignty and I've seen his faithfulness and his goodness and um, I just you know gave it to him and gave this to him and have been trusting him through this and I know that's easy to say when, um, for some of us, and we use this term a lot around our house, easy preaching, hard living, but in all honesty, I have just been able to look back at my life and just see um, how good God is and how faithful he is. And the word rely has just been big on my heart and mind lately. And I just um, thought I would share with you all, like just rely on God in these times and trust that he is, um, he is a provider and he is good and uh, a while back I learned the name um, for God Jehovah Jireh um, God our provider and um, he has shown that over and over to me and you know there's been times when we've wondered how are we going to do something or how are we going to um, care pay for this or pay for that and um, just that will come to my mind Jehovah Jireh because God will provide and um, today I was looking through some of my old uh, Bible studies and I came across one and it and it's uh, titled the Lord's um, the Lord your keeper and I was just thinking about um, me as a kid and and thinking about how I've seen God's faithfulness even from the time when I was a little kid and just knowing that he was my keeper and I was that little girl who would get on the church bus um, a lot of times by herself or sometimes with two little brothers in tow and I could just see from as far as I could remember God's goodness and his faithfulness over my life and that he was my keeper and it brought me to some verses um, and it's in Psalms 121 and it's just a short uh, a book but or chapter I mean and it says I lift up my eyes to the hills where does my help come from my help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor by moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forever. And I just love the promises in that, where it just promises us that God is going to watch over us, that He is He is our keeper. And um, I personally can testify to that, because if I were to tell you my testimony my whole entire life, I think a lot of you would be blown away. But I, the one thing I know is I could always rely on the Lord, and that He was faithful and he is faithful he's Jehovah Jireh guys I hope you're having a great day I hope these are encouraging to you and just remember that we look forward to seeing you soon and that we love you take care